Don't you worry about Todd Manning. I know all about that guy. Boy, he's a menace. True. What I have to tell you is privileged information. Let's do this later. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. What, what, what were you gonna say? I'll be at the premiere at the palace tonight, and I'll see you there. I'll tell you what I know. Come on in! Wow, mm. you look beautiful. So do you, sweetheart. <gasps> Stacy! Are those the earrings that Dad got you? Uh-huh, aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. He gave them to me right before we got married. Mm, I love them. But I'm not wearing them for your father, I'm wearing them for Tomas. Because he painted me in these, and that's when he said that he fell for me. Well, he said that anyway. So things have been better for the two of you. Yeah. He's finally opening up to me about his past, which means maybe we can have a future. Hey. Hey. Don't cook a lot, do you? Well, you know I had that. It's better food in prison. Yeah, well, get used to it. I got the DNA sample from Manning. I'm gonna run it over to the lab and put a rush on it. That's a good idea. You can do that on the way to the party. What party? The party that you're gonna go to. I never said I was going to a party. Um, yeah, well, you kind of did. I answered your phone when you were gone. What did I tell you, huh? Didn't I tell you not to touch the phone? Are you out of your mind? No, but let me tell you something. The blonde with the whiskey voice, Natalie's mom, whoo, she is. Let me tell you, she came in here with a stack of towels, right? So I took that towel and I threw it over my head and I pretended to be you and it worked great. So that gave me an idea. When the telephone rang and it was Delgado and he was talking about Todd Manning, I kind of pretended to be you. You know what I mean? What? What the hell is wrong with you? Are you trying to get yourself killed? <laughs> oh, you look beautiful. You look hot. Mm -hmm. You have a bullseye on your head. You could have got everybody in this building killed. I was just trying to help. Delgado said he had some information. What exactly did he say? Oh, well, look who's interested now. Yeah, I'm interested. Okay. Well, Delgado said that you could meet him at the palace because there's a movie premiere tonight, and he'd explain everything then. So you better get going. Oh, you got to change. It's black time. You're not going to wear the tux? No, I'm not going to wear the tux. Ask me that again. I'm throwing you in the hole. I'm just trying to help. Come on. Really think about it. Look, you too can be a cater waiter. Fine, I'm just trying to help. If you don't care about your image, it's not my fault. Posting a cop outside the door, somebody I trust. All right, don't even think about leaving. Wait, wait, wait. What am I supposed to do here? Channel surf. This is a, a special night for us, kind of a, kind of a private celebration. Come on, Delgado, he's a fake. What happened to that great big brain you had? And this is the beautiful Danielle. There's a story floating around that you were conceived on a desert island. Oh, well, um, I'd rather not think too much about my own conception. <laughs> You're left in my own heart. One last question for your handsome son, Jack. Jack, my I understand son. that you were arrested uh, in connection with the death the, of Gigi uh, uh, My son. Uh, the charges were dropped. The police uh, decided to drop the charges, but they realized Jack had nothing to do with it. He's innocent. Uh, another boy has confessed. The good news is, uh, Blanca, that he's going into the uh, business, fam actually your business, journalism, and I'm, I'm, we're all right. Hey, isn't this fun? Like a root canal. <laughs> Ever the film buff. Everyone looks gorgeous. Beautiful dress. Right back at you, Taya. Those earrings are exquisite. Who gave you those? Mm, recognize them, Tom? Your earrings? No. Why would I recognize your earrings? Mm, give it up, Mom. Even if you did remember, it's not like you would admit it. True that. 
So, yes, yes, this daughter's a wonderful singer, just like her mother and my son. He's very innovative. Never heard anything like him. Very proud of him. Of, of both. Just sit tight, Thomas. The Bane's coming for you. I understand there's off a bit of controversy over the casting. Your character is portrayed by an Asian-American actress? Well, I guess that's the magic of Hollywood, right? <laughs> <laughs> Love those earrings. Oh, thank you. They were a gift from my ex-husband. Come on, the movie's about to start. gave you those earrings. So, do you remember these earrings? Please. Mm, they're beautiful. They're from the photograph. I spent hours painting those. Yes. I wish I knew where that photograph was. I was looking at it out by the pool the other day, and I guess the wind blew it away. Yeah, as long as I get to look at the real thing. Mm. Shepard, you grab us a couple seats. I'll be right Sure. Hello, John. Thanks, sir. She is something, isn't she? Absolutely. So, you have something to tell me about Todd Manning? Hmm. I think maybe I'm going to a party. Thank you. Thank you all for coming and joining and sharing in this wonderful evening with me. Us. Us. Oh, darling. 